All right, guys. It took us 22 minutes to get into Champions League, but uh, we we made it there. Uh, it was difficult, but um, as a reward, apparently we've hit 50 viewers. At 50 viewers, we're giving away a starter pack. So, is anyone in the chat? not level 30 yet that would like to get a starter pack that has an IP boost and a XP boost and a couple of champions and the Master Yi Assassin skin if I recall correctly. Alright, Kiwi Gamers, um, I will send you the starter pack, congratulations for that. There's no way Kiwi Gamers is level 17, he's on the stream every single week. <laughs> I'm alright hooking him up. Alright, Kiwi Gamers is under level 30, so he pretty much wins by default. These are starter pack guys, they're not uh, All right. points or anything like that. Nexus Bun Bun, pretty good upset. Shout out to Nexus Bun Bun, bro, great to have you back here. <laughs> oh, what a do school coming out from Massive 2. <laughs> Loving it, guys, keep it going. Nexus Bun Bun needed it for his poor family. I'm sorry, mate. Your children are just going to have to starve a little bit longer, but don't give up on the dream of becoming pro, my friend. Do it for your kids. A lot of men you need to start back to feed his kids too, mate. Just go to Fuwa's house. His mum's booking up the Wong Tongs. Nexus Bun Bun stole my name. Shout out to Kano Lo. All right, Kiwi Gamers, I have just sent you a starter pack code. If you go to your Twitch TV messages, you'll be able to find that, and congrats, man. All right, so, the teams have been picked. The game is in its three-minute delay. What do you think about the teams, man? Can you see them on the stream at the moment? I can see them. Uh, ooh, what do I think? It's interesting. I do love the Blitzcrank pick. I think the men have the advantage in the team lineup. Maybe we can see an Elise go crazy. MF always solid ADC pick. We don't see. Oh, we see Draven with MF. What do you think about that? You're an ADC player. Draven pretty much shits on everyone in lane. If we're being honest, it is the League yeah. of Draven for a reason. He is such a lane bully. Uh, that's where he excels in team fights. He's a lot weaker, but his DPS will be off the charts at all points in the game. So that's going to be a hard bot lane, I reckon. Especially with the aggressive Blitzcrank. What are you going to jungle to then? Do we have the Vi or the J4? Who are you preferring? Alright, so it really depends on what you're against. And I think this is a really good game for Vi. Vi can gap close on top of Draven very easily. Uh, Draven doesn't really have a way to stop that initial vault, the, the vault break him. And then he has no way at all to stop Assault and Battery. So that's trouble. Well, I can tell you the people seem extremely excited about Draven. We're getting the Draven core shouting out. We've got the Draven up the team like team coming out. I that he might be better than him. Ah, oh, the girl's going to contest sandwich. <laughs> Shout out to Life Canada. Let's go, big boy! Mike the Soul Sniper. Let's keep that atmosphere going. Sandwich spawns at 155. <laughs> Actually, what do you think about that jungle change, man? That is so, like, it, it really is game changing. It, it pushes the meta away from what it was. That now everything spawns at 1 minute 55. Do you like it? I know you're oh, I, love it, I love it. I hate having to get that golems for your ADCs. Why do you need the golems? Why can't the support have the golems? So, that's cool. I'm fine with that. I'd rather be up in their jungle anyway, going for a massive invade. So I'm kind of glad that whole golems business is out of the game. Yeah, it's it's really different. Like, um, it pushes the, the meta away. Like. You're gonna have two people in a lane, like, you're gonna have your AD and your support, you're gonna have your Bruiser, and you're probably gonna have an Assassin or a Mage. But, um, what lane they now go in, it, it doesn't really matter, because they're not gonna get that advantage from Golems. Um, anyone can leash red or blue now, it's, it's really different. I'm gonna be really excited to see how it, like, develops from this point onwards in the next couple of months. Because it really is bigger than just, you know, 15 seconds. I just wanted to be all about sneaky level 1 plays. I love the level 1 plays, the early aggression, the going around the jungle, hoping you find people out. I just want to see more of that in League of Legends. More of the all-ins, less of those little creepy, creepy things. Sneaky little plays. Not a fan of that. I just like to see big action, big plays. Plays for days is what I want. Shout out to Dave with that call. Good on you, Dave. Great to still have you here. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the last patch was pretty cool. Um, I still think the Kha'Zix nerfs were pretty substantial, but we'll, we'll see if that's alright. Uh, special shout out to Shiny Jack. 
Good to have you back. Alright guys, we are now into the loading screen. We get to see the skins, and as we all know, skins pretty much mean everything in this game. So, I'm seeing an Ionian Master Yi, that's a fantastic skin. As well as Warring Kings Jarvan and Full Metal Jace. I like it. So far, we're two skins to three. Uh, the purple team has a definite advantage, the male's taking this one. Two players, however, have not connected, so I can't see what they've got. Oh, it's classic Draven. Oh, that's unfortunate. Soul Weaver and Gladiator are pretty fantastic. Gladiator is really cool. Gladiator is a skin that I'm quite impressed by. I think it's Gangster as. Do you know what his recall animation is, man? No, I have no idea. Uh, it's like the Coliseum, like everyone's oh, really? like cheering and they're going like Draven, Draven, Draven in the background. <laughs> that is it's awesome. Like, we need more of that. Oh, it's fantastic, man. Who do you think? And this question goes out to all of you, so I want to see everyone typing. I know what my answer is. Who do you think has the coolest recall in the game? That's a good question. So let's see it. Which answers do you think? I'm going to tell you mine. Oktoberfest Gragas. Playing that little German music gets me pumped every time. Well, he plays German music, really? Yeah, the Oktoberfest uh, Gragas. It makes like some little... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know how the music goes, that was my interpretation, it's way cooler than that, but it definitely does, I think it's oh, Chinese man. New Year Annie, everyone's going off about that, Chinese New Year Annie apparently does something really cool, I have no idea what it does. Oh, neither do I, what does the Annie do? Someone in the chat tell me, I'm gonna look up. chat, big up that, Santa Vega. <laughs> Slave L oh, I don't even know what Santa Vega does either. Can someone please tell me what the uh, Chinese Annie does, I'd love to know, and Christmas Vega. So she, apparently she throws out a giant panda. That sounds panda pretty cool. Doom, that's what I'm told. Thank you. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. Oh, she's she just an event. That's awesome. Panda of Doom. All right, that sounds really, really cool. One of the female, females have to play Annie and show, show this off to us, because that sounds awesome. Yeah, if anyone in the next team can play that skin, I'd love to see it. All right, guys, we are now into the game. It'll be interesting to see what lanes these guys take. Guys take. And if they go for a level 1 play, uh, usually if you have Blitzcrank on your team, you tend to be very aggressive early. That hook is a lot of kill insurance. Um, it, it pretty much results in a flash or a first blood if you can land it, so... Here's to hoping. And the I am a siren call goes out from Lulu. Uh, I am a siren. It looks like we're going to have Syndra against Yi in the mid lane, uh, MF and Lulu against Draven and Blitzcrank in the bot. Top lane looks to be a Jace versus Elise. Now that's going to be a really interesting ma matchup. And we've got Vi and Jarvan in the jungle. So these are all uh, pretty standard lanes. Um, no one's really throwing a curveball, although this Yi in the mid lane is, is pretty cool. So I just have to say, I just watched on YouTube that, Ch that Chinese Annie recall, and it is amazing. It is actually so cool. Really? Thank you so much for telling me about that. It's actually hilarious. She actually just does hug a big panda at Doom. It is fantastic. Awesome call, people. This is why I'm the voice of you guys, because you guys know the best. Thank you so much. Are there actual have calls in this girl team? There are not, unfortunately. We are not segregating males and females. We are simply segregating the players. Uh, sorry, the champions. No, I would believe yep. Bollywoodian would love to be classified as a girl. He would have no shame in that. <laughs> He's one fruity fella. Big shout out to Bollywoodian. Check out Christmas Vega. I will check out Christmas Vega. In a bit. Remind me. I'll check it out. Carloy is a girl called coming out. Alright, so we've got Musty Yi and Blitzcrank. Lulu choice over Leona. Lulu over Leona, what do you think? Oh, I got nothing wrong with Lulu. I love oh, Lulu. No. Blitzcrank hooked the small lizard over the over the side, not the blue buff. Oh, that is right, right. Right. Up to Unfortunately for him though, they're not even starting blue buff. They could have just ran in there and got it normally. <laughs> oh no. We got the lol 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 James Bad call coming out and GG. Everyone thinks the game is over from Rylight's miss. <laughs> I do like how he's gone to mid though, tried to make a play there, but instead gone for the tactical tower hit. An interesting strategy. Carloy dukes out the blitz hook in the mid lane. Nice play by Carloy. Alpha Strike is successful, Alpha Striking. Uh, this is gonna be unfortunate to talk about. But yeah, uh, this what this matchup in, in the mid lane, it's pretty snowball -y. How do you feel like it's gonna go, man? 
Well, I don't know. If we keep having this mind game blitzcrank that Jibbers is calling out, it could go to Master Yi. I'm not too familiar with Syndra. I'm, mid lane is my weakest lane, so I can't comment too much. But I would like to see Master Yi rip it out. Well, his meditate can be broken if I am correct by Syndra's stun. I think Syndra can stun him at any point in the game with, with if she has the cooldowns up. So that's that's a pretty hard counter to Master Yi, being able to do that. Well, you must love this lane, Draven Blitzcrank. Super aggressive, that's kind of your style. Do you think that's going to take out the MF Lulu? I would have said so, yeah, but they're playing kind of passively at the moment, which is interesting. It might be... Well, do prefer the Blitzcrank did just come back late into lane and just got level 2 now. <laughs> that's, that's true. That could be the reasoning behind that. Uh, because this was blind pick, I'm surprised we didn't see a Thresh coming up, because Thresh Draven is like the king of aggression in lane. So the Lemon Syndra core going out in chat. She does indeed throw lemons around. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so the CS at this point in the game is fairly even. Uh, there's no lane where one person is completely stomping all over the other person. Um, and that's what we like to see. We like to see even matchups. Uh, when the skill is similar, the game's uh, tighter and it's more intense. It's, it's more fun for everyone involved, so that's always a good thing. Getting very aggressive in this bot lane. Blitzcrank does have his hook up. If he lands it, it could be a lot of trouble. Ha ah, ah, ha! That's my Vega voice. I'm just quickly having a look at this <laughs> recall. I'm so intrigued. Paste it. Paste the link into chat, man, for the people that haven't seen it. All right, I'm pasting it in. You guys wanna? Do you wanna watch this? You wanna quickly skip ahead to 118? Oh, that's awesome! He stands on top of a chimney and jumps down it! <laughs> yes! Awesome! Cool! Thank you so much to the people! Both of those are fantastic recalls that I had never seen before! That is really funny! Bad stance with Vega! Awesome! Awesome choice, people! Alright, so, First Blood is still up for grabs. The farm is very similar. The gold is 6.1k to 6.1k in this male's vs. female community event. Uh, it will be a big tell who gets this first blood. Um, both junglers are gravitating towards this top lane, so I wouldn't be surprised to see if the action, you know, does go down there. Jace does. Yeah, so far it's going to get fined here. I also know Lord Minion is a very comfortable Elise player. That's a player he likes, to, a hero he likes to play a lot. In fact, so I should be expecting some big moves coming out from this top lane. But it's going to be passive. It looks like that's like it's. Basically, this is like a primary school dance. The boys and girls are too scared to get amongst each other and instead just sitting back watching. But we are going to see Elise jump in a little bit, but still nothing. They're all too shy. Come on, guys. They're just girls. Get them. Ask one of them to dance. What are you doing? That's scary, man. Girls have cooties. Girls do have cooties, but you don't have to be scared, man. Girls are lovely things. These boys should be getting amongst trying to get some. Oh, you're, you're so brave, man. I can't talk to girls. I just pretend to. <laughs> <laughs> you talk but a lot of good games. Alright, so. The CS hasn't spiked at all. These lanes are very balanced at the moment. Jarvan has gravitated towards the mid lane, so has Vi. Good timing on, on Vi being there for the counter gank, but it doesn't look like Jarvan is gonna, you know, extend his pole in, in the direction of Syndra. It's pretty phallic, actually. I'm gonna be honest, the first blood doesn't go down this bot lane, I'm gonna be surprised. We're gonna see another missed hook by Rylight, but he's gonna exhaust and punch him up, but Barry is gonna keep him in for life, but Rylight's in trouble, Vi's down bot. Blitz is gonna run, Blitz is gonna be okay, I think. No, MS putting on the chase, he's in trouble, he's gonna run, Sindra can come down and kill him if he notices. He does have chase though. Will he be able to flash this one away? Sindra's going to he's gonna he does flash! And you are right, he is gonna just get out of there. No, Image trying to slow, he can still be in trouble. Image chasing, can Image got that last attack? No, she's gonna be scared off by the team. The big job and Protector comes in, and now Image could be in trouble, and Image goes down to Master Yi, first blood. It's gonna be a double kill to Yi. Image goes down to triple kill, and it's four in total with Blitzcrank picking up that fourth kill. Four kills go to the purple team, the men are ahead. The Alpha Strike doing what he does best. Alpha Striking, getting that reset, and pretty much dominating that team fight. This is the power of Master Yi people in the mid. That was insane. It looked like First Blood was going to go down and Blitz was in trouble. But this is the mind game Blitzcrank we were talking about. He deliberately got his health low, 
Dodge Dory attacks to set up the massive quadruple kill for his team. Well done, Blitzcrank. All right. Sorry guys, the stream quality has been a little bit low because one of our settings is wrong. We're gonna disappear for five seconds and come right back. So don't go anywhere. The stream will turn off and on again, pretty much, you know, in the, in the space of 